Howdy! In this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a line out in three-dimensional space. Now if you remember back in middle school there were two things that we needed to find the equation of a line. We needed a point and we needed a slope. Well you know what? Fast forward to either your freshman, sophomore, junior year in college, you're now taking calculus three, it's still the same thing. You still need a point and we'll call this point x naught y naught z naught and you need a slope and your slope is going to be a vector okay out in three-dimensional space your slope is going to be a vector some delta x delta y delta z once you find your point once you find your slope there are three different type of formulas that you can plug it into so let's first talk about um, if they say find the equation of a line and write it in parametric form. Once you have these two things, the way you write it in parametric form is you're going to say x is equal to x naught plus delta xt, y is equal to y naught plus delta yt, and z is equal to z naught plus delta zt. And this would be your final answer if they want it as a parametric equation. If they want it as a vector equation, the way you're going to write it, you're going to write it as r of t, this will be some vector, is going to equal, you're going to write your x naught, y naught, z naught, plus, plus some delta x, delta y, delta z, times t. This is how you would write it they want it as a vector equation. And I should have left myself a little bit more room, but for symmetric, the way that this is going to be, this is going to be x minus x naught over delta x equals um, y minus y naught over delta y equals z minus z naught over delta z. And this is what it would look like if they wanted as a symmetric equation. Now this one, I honestly had the most trouble remembering this one, but the way that I remember it now, take a look at this, you're just solving for t, right? If I solve for t, I'd have x minus x naught divided by delta x. And I solve for that t, you'd have y minus y naught over delta y and so forth, and all these t's need to equal each other, hence t equals t equals t. So that's the way that I remembered it, and that's actually where it comes from. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's your symmetric. So let's go ahead and find the equation of the line that passes through two points, and we'll go ahead and write it in all three forms. That way you can see what a final answer would look like. Now, there are two things that I need. I need a point, and I got a slope. I've already got a point. I got two points, actually. You can pick whichever point you want. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this as your as my x naught, y naught, z naught. Okay, you could have picked this one too. Doesn't make a difference. But let's find my slope. What you need is a delta x, delta y, delta z. Let's go back to middle school just for a second, real quick. I, I had a good time in middle school. I, had a, I went to a really good middle school, by the way. But uh, your slope, if you remember, was your delta y over delta x, right? And what was this? Remember, this was your uh, they the way they taught it back then was y two minus y one over x2 minus x1, right? So you're changing y and changing x. That's all that we're going to do here. And so, we're just going to do b minus the a. You can do a minus b. It actually does not make a difference. You'll, um, both answers will be right. But, if I want to find my delta x, delta x, 3 minus 2, I'll just go ahead and write it out, so we'll go 3 minus 2, my delta y, minus 1 minus 4, so minus 4, and your delta z is 1 minus a negative 3. Which, our slope's going to be 1, negative 5, 4. And this is your delta x, delta y, and delta z. Now that you have your point, and now that I have my slope, it's plug and chug after that. So they want it as a parametric equation. Your final answer is going to be x is equal to x naught 2 plus delta xt, so just plus 1t, y is equal to y naught, that's 4, plus delta yt, that's going to be minus 5t, and z 
z is going to be z naught, negative 3, plus delta z t, plus 4 t. So they want it as a parametric equation, there you go. If they want it as a vector equation, when it's a vector equation, r of t is going to be, all right, so you write your x naught, y naught, z naught, so it's going to be 2, 4, negative 3, plus, then you write your delta x, delta y, delta z, so this will be 1 minus 4, 4, and you multiply this by t. So that's how they want it as a vector. That's how you'd write that out. And finally, for symmetric, the way you would write this out is you're going to do x minus x naught, so x minus 2, over delta x, so that's 1. So you can just write that as just, you could just write it as over 1. You don't even have to write that because anything divided by 1 is itself to his is own. So uh, then y, y minus y naught, so y minus 4, divided by delta y, so it's a negative 5, is equal to z minus z naught, so z naught's a negative 3, so it's going to be plus 3, over delta z, delta z is 4. And that's it. That is how you're going to find the equation of a line written three different ways now that you're in calculus 3.